Hi, I'm Helen Victoria and welcome back to my crime and policing channel. So this video is a little bit off piece, not something I normally do, but I've had a specific request from someone who's quite new in service. And um, yeah, so I thought, you know what, why not help? As you may or may not have found out, since joining the police, the professional standards and the dress code is super strict, okay? You might find that you've been asked to cover your tattoos, you have been told off about having nail polish on, and so let's just go through those professional standards in terms of your um, appearance now. So there is a dress code and it's a uniform of public service. So remember that the reason why you have this uniform on is because the members of the public can see you and know that you are a police officer, someone that they can go to um, in times of crisis for support and advice, to report crime and all these other things that police officers do. So it's important that everyone looks a certain way they're approachable and they have this standardised appearance across the whole of the UK. Is it a little bit outdated in some instances? I think so, yeah. I mean, you're not allowed to have brightly coloured hair. You're not allowed to have piercings unless it's for a religious reason, like on your face. You can have like one small stud in your ears. You can wear a wedding ring, so a ring on your fingers. Um, you can wear a watch and you are not permitted to wear anything else unless it's religious item so you can wear um i've had students who had like cross necklaces on because they were christian or they've had bangles on there's like um, specific wrist jewelry that you have to wear in some religions and they have, they're allowed to wear things like that of course they're allowed to wear things like that one of the big things is makeup uh nail varnish hair so you're allowed to wear glasses obviously but you can't wear anything like elton john would wear because it's just not deemed appropriate but you can obviously wear kind of normal looking glasses it's very like I said very uniformed so like I said you can wear a watch but it can't be anything like this it's got to be something uniform and obviously not going to put you in any danger so if you're wearing something that's going to get trapped on things or get you stuck in something that's clearly not a good idea even the ties that police officers wear aren't real ties they're like clip-ons which is handy because you know if you're not very good at putting ties on then you can just clip it on Shh, don't tell everybody Okay, so hair and makeup is a massive thing. And it's a female officer that has messaged me asking what the heck you do with your hair. Because as you can see, I've got quite long hair. So you may or may not see um, police officers out there um, with their hair down or whatever, but that is not standard. And it's not really professional. It shouldn't be allowed. You do get used to wearing it up over the years, ladies and gents. So even your male officers have to scrape it back too. I'm just wary that how much noise my hair makes when it's brushed. Okay, so the tip is with your hair, it needs to be back off your face, but it needs to be low enough at the back that it will, your hat can fit on top of your head, obviously. And also it's got to be off your collar. So your hair cannot be touching your collar. That is the main thing. So a lot of officers will have a, kind of long hair, like male or female. They'll tie it up or if they are... Um, they have like a bob cut, a short bob, which a lot of officers have. So I've tied my hair up and it's quite low. If you can see at the back there. Obviously it doesn't look very good because I'm literally not using a mirror. Uh, your bowler hat will sit on top if you are a female officer. So it's really important that your hair is tied down the bottom, which is obviously under your hat. Ta-da! You will want to keep it in place because, you know, it's a longer busy day. When you've got your hat on and off, it's really so you want to get just some nice wax or hairspray and get all the flyaways because it's really important. So when you are on parade and things, your hair looks super neat and tidy. And I can still do it look even now. Just I'm not even looking. I can still do my hair like I did in training. So yeah, got to be slicked back. This is your police hair. You are not allowed to have makeup. You can have some makeup, but it has to be natural. As you know, I wear quite a thick black eye makeup, which was not allowed. So you've got to take that off too. And that's just, like I said, so you don't look like, I don't know, Noel Fielding or anything when you're arresting somebody or um, helping someone. I mean, we know as people in this society, in this modern day, that just because you're a little bit of a goth, it doesn't mean you're a danger to society, but not everybody else knows that. So your makeup's got to be natural. Um, you will see some officers with big daft eyelashes and things like that. Um, but they've got to be able to fit behind your glasses and stuff. So it's not really standard. And if you're looking to get promoted and things like that, it's kind of frowned upon. 
Ta-da! So you can't wear any big bright lipsticks, which is a shame because I love wearing my, my red lipstick, as you know if you watch these videos. But this is what you will look like when you are a police officer. So no makeup and you'll have your hair slicked back like so. You can also, if you choose, um, style your hair in such a way that it fits under your hat. Ooh, that's better. So the main things are your hair needs to be um, off your collar and it's got to be able to fit under your hat. Like I mentioned, I prefer mine in the low bun. But this is just kind of my go-to hair now. Like since I left, I've just embraced the hair and the eyeliner. I still don't do the nails though because it just stays with you. But yeah, that's how you do your hair and your makeup in the police. Feel free to put lip gloss and stuff like that on, but you've got to look kind of natural. You're not allowed to have funky coloured hair. So if you've got bright red hair, bright pink hair, before you join, you're going to have to dye it a natural colour. If you're a natural orange like me, you're in luck. Otherwise, it's got to be, you know, blonde, brunette, whatever. Good luck. Uh, look after yourselves, look after each other, and please don't commit any crime.